Here is a shocking heads up for parents about teen drug use. One Florida Sheriff's Department warns there's a new way for your kids to get high. And as Fox City's Jack Miller reports, they're using raw sewage. The Washington Post, the Drudge Report, and Inside Edition are all talking about Jenkum. It could be uh, toxic and, and harming. The bulletin describes Jenkum as gas produced by raw sewage that's allowed to ferment. Pictures show young people who appear to be breathing in Jenkum. When we mentioned this new concoction to people on the street here in Jacksonville, not only had they never heard of it before, but they said they didn't want to get anywhere near it. It sounds horrible. Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine doing something like that. Honestly, mm -hmm. they need to find something better to do with their life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Seriously, because that's just insane. I can't imagine anybody doing something like that. Sounds pretty sick to me. Uh -huh. Okay, not anything you would ever consider? Never. This confidential internal document from Collier County was leaked by someone inside the sheriff's office. Deputies say it's no big deal because all the information in the memo is available on the internet and there wasn't enough concern to warn parents about Jenkum when the memo was written back in September. We had no known information that this actually occurred in Collier County. But he says what is known is that students are talking about it and parents need to be aware. Sewage is to toxic and it's handled uh, Hat with, as a biohazard. We weren't able to confirm tonight if Jenkum is a problem for law enforcement in our area. Cops are calling it Jenkum or the human waste drug, but parents need to be aware that kids are calling it by the more popular slang term, butt hash. Jack Miller, Fox 30 News. And at this point, it's not clear if Jenkum can even be considered to be illegal. We'll keep you posted. A Westside neighborhood.